So today we're going to do the sonohistorosal fingogram. And what that is, is a tube check to see if your tubes are open. So the way we do that is we insert a speculum into the vagina, we locate the cervix, clean the cervix off, insert a little flexible tube, it's like a spaghetti noodle, and that goes through your cervix up into the uterine cavity. We'll blow up a little balloon to keep that catheter in place, take the speculum back out, so hopefully that should relieve a little bit of discomfort for you. So then we're going to use the transvaginal ultrasound probe to locate the catheter inside the uterus and Janet's going to watch as I push water through the catheter and hopefully we'll be able to see the tubes open by watching the water flow through the tubes on the screen behind me. If your tubes are blocked by mucus, bacteria, skin cells, kind of the same sort of things when our nose gets all stuffed up and our nose were able to blow in order to clear that out, the fallopian tubes aren't able to do that. So if your tubes are blocked by any of those things, then the water's not going to be able to go through the tubes and therefore the sperm and the egg may not be able to meet. So you might feel some discomfort if your tubes are blocked as that pressure grows inside the uterus from the water building up. Hopefully we'll be able to open the tubes by applying a little bit of pressure with the water and pushing a little bit of air behind them. If your tubes are unblocked, the water will flow right through the tubes and you really should not feel any discomfort at all. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is insert the speculum. So I have you moved out to the end of the table. Great. Just some more light here. I'm just going to drop your knees out to the side. You're going to feel my hands touch your leg. You're going to feel my hands side down. You're going to feel my fingers touch. Pressure with my finger and then pressure with the speculum. And we're just going to locate your cervix. And now we're just going to clean your cervix with some betadine. we're going to insert the catheter through your cervix. You're going to feel some poking and some pressure. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. And then you'll feel a little bit more pressure here as we blow the balloon up to keep the catheter in place. And now we're going to turn the lights off so that way we can see the ultrasound better. Pressure. Can you take a look right up at the screen? We're going to take a look at your uterus first. The uterus looks like a little sock. This is the cervix coming into the top. Right white space is the catheter that we just inserted. Can you take a quick look over at your ovaries? So I'm going to start pushing water through the catheter. You might start to feel some pressure. If the pressure becomes too much, just let me know. Everything looks good. That's it. So you can scoot yourself up. back. Everything looks good. Tubes are open.